There. And we're live. We are live. Good Hi. morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you very, very much for popping over to my channel today. And I am here with some, but not all, of the In the Craft Room tribe. We have the gorgeous and talented Miss Amy Love. Hello, everyone. And the extremely talented and beautiful Miss Hattie. Thank you. Big hair. <laughs> yes. Dig it, people. I feel like I should do a bad wave after that introduction. I love your hair, man. It's awesome. And of course, last but certainly not least, the fantastic, the awesome, and gorgeous Miss Mary the Craft Hoarder. Who? And we are missing our um, lovely Miss Maggie White, um, but she is under the weather today, so we send her lots of healing hugs and kisses and all of those wonderful things. Yes, because we don't want her under the weather. We want her right on top of it. Yes, we want her to be on top of it. So thank you all for coming. This is my first live class on my channel, so I'm nervous and excited at the same time. But I've got all my, some of, well, most of my besties here. Except for Maggie, of course, she's my other rusty. But anyway, we're going to do something with some laces today, we decided, because we have lots of gorgeous and beautiful laces from Craft Supplies for you, because all of us are I designing for our Miss Julie. And, and we're craft hoarders. Yes, we are craft hoarders, that's true. Like, but we've got some beautiful laces, so we were talking about different ways to use our laces one day on Skype, and we thought, hey, it might be fun to do a class on that. So we've all got different takes on things, and I may make a project. That's why I have this out in front of you here. This is going to be possibly a doily wall hanging. I don't know if it'll get done, but anyway, there it is. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do, and we're going to show you guys lots of different and cool ways to use your laces. Hi, Marty! So, whoop, whoop. so I am going to head over now to Miss Mary, and she can talk to you about what she's... Over to you, Mayor. Okay, well, I'm going to show a couple things, and then I'll pass it off to somebody else. Um, okay, so one lace that I have gotten out of Julie's door and let's see okay so this is crochet lace b651 oh for crying out loud she's throwing out the item numbers i don't I know even even the oh, item gosh. numbers you gotcha so it's the headset it's the it's the headset it just made me go all crazy um so I it's this it's leafy kind of featherish kind of looking um and it's gorgeous the way it is if you take your little sweet gorgeous time actually make it a dangle trim Oh yes are you going to do okay. it I want to see that Show me show me how Mary Okay so it's quite I use my little detail scissors, uh, they're just the Fiskars. And you're not gonna get it necessarily a perfect, but you know what, feathers aren't perfect. So what you have to do is kind of imaginary line in your head and go for it. Nip and clip. Marty, thieves. <laughs> thieves laces are gorgeous. Are you trying to thieve on some laces over here, Marty? Nightingale. Night Angel. Whoop. Night Angel, yes. Um, and chat members, please note what I've put in the chat for you. Julie from Craft Supplies for You is giving you guys a discount. And I've put the code in the chat for you. Yay! Yep. That was so cool of Julie to do. It's only it really in the chat. Was. We're not passing it around. It just goes in the chat. Yeah, it's only for chat members. Yep. I'm going to tell you what it is on the video here. It's just for you guys. Just for you, because you guys are special. And you're here. So it's just easy. Keep going. And it's you so have easy. yourself a nice. Those look like feathers. That is such cool lace. Oh, I love this lace. Oh, it's awesome. And you cut it there. Oh, my gosh. You, and you, you'll, you'll kind of see, like, where the, they kind of join. And so it's it's going to give it that, that pattern to kind of follow. So, again, um, 
what my feather lays because that it just so reminds me of that. So um, cool. Story. She does have a name, Crochet Lace, and it's B again. It's B six five one. So there's that one. I'll show you another. I love that you um, numbers. You're the best. This is one of her bridal trims. Forget that I don't have to be upside down. Um, this is one of her bridal trims. And again, this is item code B558. That's B558. Bingo. So, and <laughs> <laughs> Kim's fault because she was showing me all her cool avocado dyeing things. So I'm like, I don't have avos, but I have tea. So I did. <laughs> I did some tea dyeing, this beautiful goldenish brown, like, antique -y. Vintage. 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 Yep. And I don't know if being on the brown is maybe not such a... Yeah, it's like vintage. We say vintage. If you can, if you can see the color a little bit better there. So, and again, just it's another way you can use your lace. And this is tea dye, and, you know, they're going to show you some avocado dyeing. But, you know, don't forget, alcohol inks you can also use or your inker for your ink pads. Yeah. Just make sure you're definitely wearing gloves so your fingers don't turn all neat shades. Yeah, I can learn that um, lesson this week. <laughs> okay, so there's... Dying your fingers. <laughs> I did dye my fingers. And then I'm going to show you one more before I pass it on. Pass on the baton. Oh, kitty. It's okay. I love kitty. Kitty. This is um, another crochet trim that she has. And uh, this is uh, B569. And you can actually cut it apart these wonderful small doilies. And what I did with this trim is I just took some of the doilies, pulled a little bit of glue and you have that part. Clever. I don't remember seeing that trim. And, and you make, I made a little puff flower. Oh, that's nice, Mary. Wow, and then, cool. And then that is part of uh, the, the trim she now carries, the pearl bling. Um, and I don't know the number, but she dark as far as <laughs> oh. that goes. Yes, the shabbiest okay. she could take stock is all in craft supplies for you now. So and if that, you had some favorites from any store. All right, so I'm gonna. Uh, so sh should we go over to Kim? Um, we could. Sure. Come to me really quick. Just come to me really quick. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Okay. okay. She's I'm still in the craft room. Yeah, I am. I'm in the middle of creating a doily book, and um, of course, it's all Jules stuff. But can we just talk about what a piece of art Heidi's hair is, though? First, it really is. I love it. Right? I love it. Isn't it rocking? I mean, really, check it. Can you really it's do very that? very Victorian looking, I have to say. I mean, not many people can pull this off, okay? This, you can, though, dude. That's true. And I don't really care. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm among friends, and even if you're not my friend, tough. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the process of making this doily book, I like dangles, obviously, and I'm trying to learn from the master, Maggie White. So I took this trim right here that also had a top, which I am instead using here around this little cameo. So, yeah, that's from Jules. That is from Jules. Along with, where's that other page? What I do with it? Ah, yes. Yes. Oh, she so getting it. Isn't she? I love her. Okay. So this trim right here. And no, I don't have an item number. Thanks, Mary. Me neither, dude. I don't have them either, so it's good. They can't all be Mary. Like don't worry. I've got an item number for that one because I actually was had that in my spot over here. So the white, um, 
That would be B653, and it also comes in an off-white, and that would be B573. So 653 and 573. Yes, that. So anyway, I cut a little piece of this off because it looked like a tree to me. I didn't get a thing for trees anyway. It looked like a tree with roots. And I used just a tiny piece of it right here. Just that piece. That's it. I broke that apart and used that tiny little piece of it and put a little pearl. So, yeah. Dude, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I think the whole idea is just to look at your laces in a different way. Yes, this lace right Absolutely. here. And no, yeah. I don't know the item number on this one either. This will be cut into like four different laces because I will use the top. Then I will use this rope for the flowers only. And then I can use this and the dangle, or I can cut it down and use just the dangle. So anyway. I can. Are you going to do, okay. do that for us? Are you going to let us see you do that or what? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm working on this page and, you know, I can't do more than 10 things at a time. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll go back to me now. Thank you, Heidi, very much. Back to moi. And I am using this lace and no item number, but this oh is. Oh, my gosh, Kim. It's your channel and you don't have the item number. I don't, dude. Sorry. <laughs> it's a pretty nice. I don't even but know I can that's tell you. Even... Oh, that's a jewelry. It's beautiful. Okay, well, you'll have to check. But when you go on ksru.net, click on the on the um, left hand side. There's um, like a bunch of um, titles that you can click on and look under new products because that's where you'll find most of the new laces is in that new products category. So that's what this one is, and it's a beautiful crochet trim. I absolutely love it. But I looked at it and I was like, you know. I can yes. maybe can do things with this. So I've cut off these little, to me, they look like petals at the top on both sides. And then you're left with this. Oh, that's pretty. Which is so pretty, but again, you could even cut that in half again. And, you know, laces are not cheap, guys. Even though Julie has the best prices in town, she really does. Oh, but, thank you. Know, you want to get the most out of your laces. So we we just wanted to cut them down and maybe use them in a different way. So you could cut this in half and get two from here and this. So what I'm going to do with these petals that I've cut off is I'm going to make a little flower. You know, a lot of this too, guys, is, um, if you don't mind my cutting in here a little bit, Kim, is, right listen, laces aren't cheap. We know that. Um, and as good as, Jules' prices are, you can still tr stretch this stuff when you're working on a bunch of guys. Stretch it out. You know, Kim's really good for stuff just popping out of her head. The imagination that goes on there, I don't know. I don't get it. She's She's got two brains instead of Jules. I love Angie. Okay. So cut the lace down till there's nothing left. Got it. You got it. That's right. You just and when you still and just have you know, lace guts left, make something with those two. That's right. We, yeah. So I'm just putting a bit of hot glue on, and then um, I I use five petals to start with for this layer. I don't ha even have any bling out to put a center in this, so we'll have to do something. I don't know what. No bling out of bling, bling, bling. No, I have to get something, a little something, something. And some of the petals have a bit of a curl to them, so that's okay. But there's the first layer of the flower. So the next layer, I would go in between those Marge, two petals. Get your doily book. Thanks. So we're going to go in between all of these. I don't and think I I'd bother. like that some of these are curled. Oh, I'm, didn't you? No. Well, now I, you're going to want to get it, aren't you? I don't look at lace like these ladies do. You know what I'm saying? They look at the lace and they're like, I could cut it up and do a million things. And I'm like, what? It's a piece of lace. I don't understand. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> There's the second layer. And I actually did three layers on the ones that I made. So I am going to do a third layer and we're going to go in between those. And then I will search for some bling or something. Or she'll make it. Or that, There's yeah. Special discount code for the store just for the people in chat, and we will post that again in a minute. Yeah. Yes, Julie has kindly offered 25% off of her already amazingly good prices. They really are, you guys. We look around. 
And so there is that. I did. That. I'm sorry, Amy. I didn't hear that. She bought. She had better prices than I did. I couldn't beat her prices. When so, I had despite the blue strings, there's the little flower. She has a huge selection of stuff. And you can yeah. see that once you put a bling in the center, which I will find. Oh, here's one right here. Uh, Rabbit says, "Happen to have one, right?" Happen to have one right here. And these beautiful square blings are in Julie's store. They're so gorgeous. So all I'm going to do is put some glue in the center. And there we go. Love it. it. And there we have a very pretty flower. So I've gotten flowers out of this tram, and I've gotten um, another two rows as well. So that is a definite one that I am going to keep in my stash for a very long time. So there's that one. And uh, this trim here, which I'm going to show you, which I, for some reason, don't have more of it out. And I don't know why. This is in our regular channel. Um, this is Kim's channel. But we do live classes on another channel that I'm going to put the link to. Yes. So this lace is another one from Julie's store. And I was looking at this going, I can get something out of that. I know I can. So I'm going to do it on this piece. But you can see there is this piece on either end. There's a figure eight in the center. And then there's these little dots in the center. So I was playing around with it. And I thought, hmm, what can I do? So I started to cut. I was thinking of taking out this figure eight. So I started to cut and just snip around. It's Kim right now, Karen. Kim is the one that's cutting and making the flowers. Yep, that's me, Kim. And I just cut and snipped down the side here. And I hope you guys can see. Hi, JJ. Oh, muffin. <laughs> And I cut that piece out almost. I cut that piece out almost, except for that thread. I'm not you showing this. And then I did it on the other side as well. I cut here. Uh, yeah, we can put them under there, Karen. You can also click on our names in chat, and the little three dots over to the side will take you to our channel. Sub. That's right. So I cut that, and I ended up with this piece. <laughs> oh, Robin, you're awesome. You can see here, you're left with a dangle trim. Kim, you can't see chat, can you? No. Okay. Run around, run around with a basket so when you bend over, she can pick up what falls out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Michelle. So you end up with a dangle trim here, and then you end up with these. So let me cut another one of those out, and I'll show you what I did with those. Which Michelle? Michelle's craft some more. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. Am I in camera? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You are. It's all you. So I cut this piece. I'm going to keep going here for a second, and then I'm going to get this piece out. So you can get a better idea of what the dangle will look like. So there is the dangle piece. And when you go all the way along, you create your own dangle trim. And then these pieces I glued together like this. And I had a larger chain dangle. And I put a little pearl in between these spaces. And these you can make as long as you want. So you can have this trim go along like the bottom of a wall hanging or something. And then this one as well. So you're getting two dangle laces out of this one. Which yeah. is very cool. You had a project you used them on. Do you have it handy? Um, 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 probably. You should find it so you guys can see what she did with this stuff. It's amazing. Yeah, you could run ribbon through it. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can run ribbon through it. Yeah, I think it's this one. Now, don't tell anybody you saw this. Yeah, don't tell anybody. 
Why is it DT perennial? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So there's the flower as well that I did. And then I made a wall hanging. That's so pretty. And here's the flowers that I did. And the dangle trim I can't show you because it is a DT project, but it will be in an upcoming video. There you can see the flowers on a project turned out really nice. These ones I rolled from fabric. So beautiful. Yep. So that's those in action. So yeah, if you like, how great is that to make another flower? So yeah, that I can't show you. Well, maybe I can. Let me see if I can find it. Banana potato. Oh, I think I might have it. One second, but I can't really show you much of this project at all. Yeah, there it is. Sorry, Kitty, you gotta move. Mama needs some okay, coffee. Mama. Somebody did send me bread in the mail. Hi, Anita. That they made. What, what what kind of bread was that? Do you remember what Paula sent me for Christmas? It was a stuffed bread. Did it not have like nuts and stuff like that in it? Yeah, I forget what she called it. But there she you go. Wrapped, yeah, she wrapped it in cellophane and then packed it in ice pack. There's the dangle. Here's the dangle trim right here that I used here. Isn't she Marty? And then. These are the longer dangles that I got out of that trim. They're gorgeous. So there you have it. Out of one trim, I got all that, and I still have, um, you know, other pieces that I could probably play around with. But, yeah, so it's just a different way of looking at your laces that you have in your stash. Can't show you that project. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, yes, that's uh, that's what that is, and maybe I will use some of these laces on this and see what we come up with today. So, how about we go and check in with Mary now? Mary. Okay. So, well, don't expect any grand projects. I'm just showing ways to extend laces today. So, um, this piece. I call it my southwestern blanket because that's what it kind of reminds me of. And um, I thought I had to, oh, yep, I do. Don't worry. B567. This one you can actually cut into five different laces. But one thing I want to show you first, I did do some tea dyeing on this one as well. Um, so, Oh. This piece here. Up, sorry. Uh, maybe the tea, and then this one here. I think was about an hour. Um, Hi. And the Oops. sorry for two different two different types of teas. I did uh, English breakfast. Uh, Earl Grey. And probably about, I don't know, four, four each and about four cups of water. So that was my solution. Look at and I, it's, it's now in the fridge. So, but yeah, so it's, I usually. Can be cut like right here to separate the pieces. Oh, look at that. That's cool, and, Mary. I mean, these alone are make two great pieces. Um, but when you cut it all apart, you actually come up with five different pieces. Now that is worth it, five different pieces. Yeah. So, you know, I'm off the top of my head, I want to say 275 ER, but don't quote me on that price. Um, by five. Yeah. Way, way worth it. Yeah, because you've got your discount. And you, you can do it. Also, <laughs> here and leave that together. So I'm really the only thing I don't really keep if I'm cutting it on five is this kind of meshy. There's no easy way to save it and to cut that apart. But if you're good enough, you could even have another. So. There's that, so that you can, this piece, you can have up to five different types That's of amazing. laces. 
And you know, sometimes I don't have the perfect trim, like tiny trim to go around an image, but that trim, you could make your own little tiny thing. A lot of these trims you can. It's just how you look you at can. your prod, your laces and your stash. Now, I know we um, she carried this and Julie does have some of it in, in her store. This l gorgeous uh, wide panel. Sometimes, it, I mean, it's gorgeous, but it, I know it's like kind of looking at it, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's 12 inches, but it's, you know. Um, but in a part. Yeah. Exactly. I've used that in a million ways, and I love that. That's my favorite, guys. That is my all-time favorite. Mm -hmm. It is. So not in camera. <laughs> And you can cut these hearts apart, but I was like, well, I might kind of uh, like this as, you know, one whole piece. So until I decide what I'm going to use it for, we have two gorgeous big leaves came from this area. I have this leaf plus on here. Oh, that's so pretty. I love and that And we have this little sniblet that comes from up here. Sniblet. That's our new word of the day. Sniblet. Back knee can sniblet. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have different things that you... And that you can just play around with. Here's two uh, flower petals that were right up here. And it's like just one little section of panel and you have all these pieces. So. Which one, Susan? The one that Mary's working on? No. What's the question? Um, she thought she saw maybe this lace earlier. Well, nope, yeah. that's a different one. Yep. Not during this show. This is the first time. Not, yeah, show. not during this show. I mean, this this lace you probably have seen before. Again, this what used to be in Shabby as Sheep Boutique, but now Julie has that in her store. Yeah, I love it. That's another another fun way to you know, you just need one little snippet of that panel, and you can um. <laughs> snippet. I love it. I love that word. <laughs> I don't know. And then there's this one. And I know Kim also has this avocado dyed as well. And I did tea dye this one. Um, oh, yes, I did avocado uh, dye that one. Yes, I did. Let me see if I can turn it. Tea dyed. This one was just kind of like a dunk in five to ten seconds. This one was probably about an hour. And then this one. Okay, and here is the avocado. Different as far as these, but again, it's like you know, is if this one is not exactly your color, dyeing techniques to make it such. I'm hoarding mine too, Marty. You gotta use it, girls. Okay. Use it. yourself so that way you're big, so they can see the difference. There's the avocado dyed, and we'll hold that up against some white there, and you can see it's very pink. That was my first time avocado dyeing, too, so I had good success with it. I loved it. So that's that lace, and this is one of my favorite laces. It's so beautiful, and it's got this gorgeous model. I would love to know if anybody that has ever avocado dyed and did you like it and will you do it again? Because me and Kim avocado dyed on the same day mm -hmm. and I, I hated it. I won't ever do it again. Okay. I think I'm going to send everything I dyed to Kim as a matter of fact. Yay. Yay me. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that one. Yes, I did a whole big bag full of people. I kind of love it. But Oh, big bet. But I died. My chat is like... Amy at least tried, and that's the whole what, why we kind of wanted to do these classes is... Yeah. 
and give things a try that we haven't done before. And you know exactly. what, Amy was like, yeah, you know what, this isn't for me, but she tried it. So kudos to her. Exactly. Tell me. So here I'm uh, attaching the dangles from the last trim I showed. And thank you for showing that, Mary. You're welcome. So then you get these longer dangles and you could put bling in here, you know, and just have that going down. And then um, this one here is the little dangle trim that you're left with. Oh, you're fine. So Kitty, I cool, right? That's cool. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to use these on here. So I don't why don't we go and see what Heidi's up to now? Hey, what you doing, Heidi? What you doing, Heidi? Hey, what you doing? How you doing? You're doing fine, girl. What's well, how you doing? How you doing? What you doing, Heidi? What you doing? I see a tiny because I had this kind of I had an idea. Anyway, and I'll use it for what I had originally intended. At some point I'll show you. But anyway, there is mesh behind some of this lace. And I saved a little hunk of it because I thought it was pretty to use by itself. So I added just a little bit of pearls to it. Mm -hmm. the mesh. Mm -hmm. And that's from behind one of the laces at Jewel's store. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I cut a little bit of another lace and put it there. And no, I don't have the numbers. But anyway, <laughs> I do like the mesh, and I like adding the pearls to it. And I'm using glossy accents for that, so it doesn't have ugly glue marks. But, yeah, cool, right? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. That's what it is. Cool. But that's it, okay? I'm working on my project and using the stuff at the same time. Gorgeous, girl, gorgeous. Thank you. Um, there was a question in the chat about how long do you cook the avocado, and I boiled mine for about 10 minutes, and then it was this lovely dark pink, almost fuchsia color, maybe a dark raspberry, I want to oh, say. Differently. There's varying, you know, various yeah. times. Yeah. yeah, but if you leave it sitting with the skins in it, it'll get darker and darker. Um, but you only use the skins to boil. You don't boil the inside bits. <laughs> Make yeah. guacamole and have some nachos while you're waiting for your tea, your stuff to die. <laughs> Absolutely. You only have use the skins. Dry or wet, doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. And I you've got to clean all the skin out. Make sure there's no of the, or not the skin. You've got to clean out all the flesh, like all the green, yummy stuff. <laughs> Yuck. I think we're split. The guacamole is split in this chat. Two people don't like it and two people do. I don't like it. Yeah. Mary and I are down with the guac though. You can't put me in that I don't like it. No, but you like story. guacamole, right? Well, there's no right, question that's, that's about that. Right. We're split oh, on the guacamole. Yeah, we're oh, split the on the guacamole. guacamole. Really, Marty, that's good to know because I did ha not have a good experience with it and maybe it's because of the water I use. Oh, uh, yeah, and I have a well. That is a really good point. I do have a well here, so hmm, I wonder if you tried it with um, some bottled water. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to try it again. I've done it. I can say I've done it. I'm done. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the experience. I'm water. stepping back. <laughs> and you may see an abundance of pink projects coming from me soon. I'm sorry about that because I <laughs> love it. Don't apologize for pinkness. I'm pink. <laughs> All right, I'm still on Heidi. Is that where we're, we're supposed to be? Um, we can click back on moi now. Back to me, I guess. I'm just um, working on putting these laces down that I got here. Hi, Andy. Yeah, I I'm going to avocado. put this down here because I like it. It's pretty. So that will be a dangle lace on here. Hi, Lou. Lou said some avocados are riper than others, and that also makes a difference. See, yes, it does. You know? That is very true. And I am going to put this here, but I need to put something around it first. So let's see what we've got that we can cut. Um, hmm, this one. This one is a really good trim from Julie's store. I love this one. Yeah, there's a lot. Can we put the, the coupon code in the chat again, Ames? I don't have it. I have to scroll up to find it. So this one um, you can cut and you can see here, I'm going to use that to go around my image. And then it's got these little flowers here. 
there's a bajillion different trims in that one. And then you've got circles. There is really, it's, it's very cool. So I'm going to cut this bottom edge off to just line my image with. I can't go that far back and I don't know what to code it. Okay. Hang on one second. I will put it in. Do you want to yeah. click on uh, Mary for a minute or Heidi? Yeah, we'll click I on Mary. Okay. Oh, you got it, Mary? Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Okay. Mary, All right. Awesome. It. All right. Back to me then. Okay. I'm the first moderator ever. You should fire me. No, you're not fired. Sorry. You have to stay. Special treat from Julie from Crass the Flies for you, you guys. It's only for people in the chat. That's why we're not saying it in the video here. But yeah, for those of you in the chat, use it. Which we're going to try to start doing in a lot of our live classes. There will be um, coupon codes to different stores in the chats. In the, the chat. So I'm just cutting this trim up here. I don't know how much I need. Let's see here. This is how I measure. Does it fit? Not yet. Okay. We don't use rulers. No. Or measuring tapes or any of that stuff. Unless I'm quilting, then yes, I do. I've tried quilting without measuring. It didn't turn out. I've tried quilting with measuring and it didn't turn out, so whatever. <laughs> right, I'm just not going to say anything about that, okay? <laughs> Love Michelle's men. supposed to do a quilt, and I'm going to try one more time with Michelle to make a quilt, and then if I can't do it, I'm done trying. Gosh, her quilts are gorgeous. Okay, so that's probably enough right there. So I'll cut that off. So that I'm going to edge my... My picture with, and now I've got this. We made it. We are literally got this. in places. Yep, I'm cutting the little flowers out of this one now, because they would be cute to embellish around my image. And I may not get this done today in class, but I will um, come back with a video share of the finished project if it's not done by the end of the class. Because, you know, sometimes we take a while to do things. What now? What yeah, we, do. we do, we Say do. Say what? Yeah. Okay, so. So there I've got, oh, no, still a thread. I have a couple of the little flowers. And you could stack these on top of each other, but I think what I'll do is just add a tiny little pearl or something to the center. So, let's see if my camera will focus. Cool. Come on, camera, you can do it. Maybe not. It's being fussy today. Glad you're here, Abby. Susan, what are you um, referring to? The discount code? There we go. Yeah, the code is let me i'm just gonna this is the code you use at checkout okay oh i can why can't i copy what mary oh, put you, yeah. pardon so cute uh, yeah so that's that trim so i've already gotten so i can use this now i i can cut the other side if i want and just use the middle but i got little flowers out of it and i do want to think of something for these little circles what do you think heidi do you have this lace which one? This list that I'm showing. Wait a minute, I was typing. Yeah, I do. What What could we do with the circles in this list? You can do anything you want, but you could pinch them and make another flower. <gasps> Ooh, good idea. So let me just go around the edge here with this one. So yeah, when those times you don't have the right small lace to go around your image, just look at your lace in your stash and see what you got and figure out a way Absolutely. to stretch it to make it last longer. Because I think deep down we're all kind of lace hoarders, crafters. I think a lot of us really do enjoy the laces. Am I right, girls? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe. Maybe. Somebody who named themselves the craft hoarder would agree, maybe. Place <laughs> I hoarded. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, that is true. 
maybe I'll actually cut up my laces now. Don't hold your breath though, but I might. I will remember you said that. So there's right. that. But I'll also remember that you said maybe. <laughs> Thanks, man. So there's that going around the picture now, and I've got the little dangle at the bottom. Cute. So there's that, and now I'm going to put this, I think, up here. And I may even do like one or two more of those because I think they're cool. And I'm going to put a little something in the centers that, like a pearl or. You know, there's a glue string here somewhere. There it is. There. I got glue strings everywhere. It is a problem. No, it was just one, and it was bugging me, but I found it. It is a big problem, glue strings. Um, I don't have the same problem they do with glue strings, and it's a trigger thing. Um, with the glue guns, no, seriously, it is. Yeah. I know, but what you say is I cannot make my fingers do. So. You can't make your, yeah, it, the, the disconnect between the head and the hands. Yeah, I get that too. But Abby says it's so pretty, Kim. Thank you. Of Did course. Bling. Bling. What do you think? Bling, bling. What do I think? Bling, bling. Are you kidding? Bling. Really a question? <laughs> Bling, always bling. Always bling. So there right, we go. Always bling. Bling is never wrong. Right? Yes. Right. So now it's got this lovely dangle here and we've got bling on it. So there's another way to use that particular trim. And uh, I think I'll just do some pearls along here. But I mean, this is just a, a doily and a doily put together. And I backed it with some fabric from my stash just to give it stability. So I haven't used much, really. I mean, this is, would be pennies to make. I printed this off myself on fabric. So, I mean, it's a nice gift pennies. to give to somebody. Boxy. And I do have my flower that I just made as well that I'm going to put there. So we'll put that down. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Get down. <laughs> So there's the flower. We're alone and craft. Where we're at so far. We're all craft hoarders, but I'm trying to remedy the situation. Listen, I never ever thought and never ever believed that I would become such <laughs> fiend about <laughs> craft supplies. Times they have changed because, yeah, She's that's all I want is more lace. Yeah, bitten by the craft dog. Yes. Yeah. And mixed media stuff. Oh, gosh. Yep. And Heidi, is that we're supposed to be? Yeah, I clicked on Heidi because she was talking. Oh. oh. I know. She did, you didn't tell Heidi. <laughs> I didn't you know. Surprise. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Surprise. Surprise. Here, I'll just show you, you know, what I've got done yeah, so far with my good. little daily book. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Look how cute. Oh, pretty. Yeah. That's done. Just a little oh. pocket page. It's a pocket page. Pocket page. Oh, pocket. A pocket page. And then there's that. You know. So. Oh, this is another one of Jules' trims that I just made a little. It took a little uh, piece of some pearl trim that yes she does have in the store and then this came off of one of her trims too the little beads i just took them yes, off did. and made a dangle out of that so yeah and then of course there's this one and these are part of a beautiful applique that she has yep this is jules um i think she might be out of stock on the pink appliques but she'll be getting more soon Okay, this is a piece from a little daisy chain trim she's got, and I just cut out one of the flowers here and added a little spot. What's behind that flower? It looks like a little picket fence. Behind? That oh, this? Flower. Yeah. No, no, this? not that. Right where the flower is? This Go is down. one of Paul's square doilies. So mm -hmm. I just set it on a diagonal, actually, and added some of this beautiful... Uh, give him from her store. So yeah, that's gorgeous girl. Yeah, so 
And I want to show one thing. Um, this is Abby. something that the girls and I are really loving that Julie has in her store. She has pearl mesh, and she has mm -hmm. it in a few different sizes. You can see here. I this is the small, and this is the large. I do not have the medium. I don't Hi, know. Angel. I do. You have the medium. Okay, then I'll we'll click over to you in a minute. But this is so great. You never have to buy flat backs again. This will last you like because you get a yard. So. Yeah, it's, she never sells really half a yard. It's always a yard. Yeah, she never sells a half a yard or anything. Or she, multiple but, yardage for one price. So. so these are in her store, and these are a really good deal. But I think, do you have the medium one handy, Mary? Yep, I'm getting it right now. All right, we'll click on Mary for a minute. But before we do, I'm just using some rolled roses that I made, and I'm going to put them kind of behind this flower a little bit, and it'll pop that flower up a little bit. And that's what I'm doing there. Nice. And this is just um, an old dress I had in my stash that was in a, a white color. And uh, I just ripped it up into shred, like into strips, and then rolled them up into roses and shredded. Put a little um, felt circle on it. That's it. So I guess we will nah. go to Mary now. She's got all three sizes of that pearl mesh, which is very cool. So this is the largest size. Um, Thank you, Marty. I think it's about eight millimeter. I know if you go on to, I think I gave the dimensions it. of each on the blog post oh, yeah. um, that I did of my DT package. Um, this one I think is about five ish and this is maybe about three. So yeah, it's you can cut single ones, you can cut rolls, you can use it as much as you want of it. So it's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me some of that. Yeah, it's really I think, handy. I think um on the net on uh, the uh, craft supplies for you.net she's out of the medium but i thought i saw some of the medium size in her zibit store so oh cool i'll have to go get some because uh, that one i do not have so since we're still on may ha 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 i'll torture you guys with some more things that i have um guys, I, do not, I do not have the item code for this one what? Here is shock and awe. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Uh, I kind of ran out of time before class started, so I was like, going, "Oh my gosh, I missed out on the getting the code." Sorry about that. So we have this double crochet trim. Nope, and I don't think that really helps either. Yurt. So this this here, I just cut right down the middle. So sacrifice that, or you could so you have this oh yes you could put a ribbon You're gonna through that. from that you could put it yep you could definitely put a ribbon through that and then as i was kind of having and you you could then once you have it apart like this you have appliques or i was like going you know what you could kind of layer them around after they're kind of cut and you could have a a, a nice little fan flower and, yeah. you know, just another option. It, it kind of, these, this shape here kind of is like, me, is like Art Deco-y, but that's what I'm seeing when I look at it. Um, so, yeah, so that is another, another trim that she, I, and I, I'm sorry, I think she still has it in her store, but. Yeah, it goes so fast, certain. it's hard. Um. And, you know, long before I started um, having the privilege to be on Julie's team, I was her customer. So some some stuff I, <laughs> I've had in my stash for a little bit. Yeah. This one I do have an item code for. Bum, ba, dum. Six, five. And what? this one you can cut apart and you will have – because I really like the outside trim as far as just something like dainty. And yes, I have to tool and clean up the snippets. But then on the inside, you have with this panel, and then you can cut different flowers out. 
and you have a lovely um, and you can I just kind of glued some together and then oh, took one of the large pearls I have that nice put that in the center those. that is so cool you know I, I I need to I think put a another one of the right here but I was like it was time to go live and so this is what I this is what uh, that right is now. so cool, Mary. I love that flower. Oh, I want the flower. The flower. You know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's so much fun to make flowers. And I know um, I'm not going to go over that, but uh, this one Maggie had used to make flowers too from. So you can, I think that was the embellishment class. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you know, one of this is one of Julie's laces. Um, use the the flowers flowers inside for more flowers i've made one with um with that trim and i stack them up and the the lace is so heavy like it's such a good quality lace yeah, it is nice. and you only need like two to stack them up to make it really like a nice full flower yep Which yep cool. and then uh one more tea dyeing uh this is one of her appliques uh, we'll just move this all up there. This is one of her bridal applique appliques, and it does have uh, the pearl beads on it. Um, but you know, you can also remove the pearl beads for a flatter surface. And then I did also do a tea dyeing one. The camera's picking that one up, but it's it, it, it's very it's a nice antique vintage kind of feel to it. So I absolutely. I absolutely was addicted to that tea dyeing. Oh, and then, come on me, why not? This is uh, the trim that oh, Heidi man. had shown that she had taken a piece off of. So, and, you know, it's funny. It's like she sees trees. I see a grape clusters, you know. Oh, yeah. And I love this top part of it. I just thought that was such a nice little open dainty trim and okay and one more in my stash and I promise I'm going to be done <laughs> don't be done keep going these are great ideas uh, um, this one I don't I couldn't find this one in Julie's store so she might be out and I was just looking on the um, dot net store but I absolutely love this trim who knows I maybe bought all of it I don't know um, that, that's possible that could be a thing. very possible but it's like you can cut it apart. Those, um, and you can also then, or you can cut the squares apart. And it's like you have cute little appliques. So I love it. All, all I, all I really had up here today for me. Okay. Well, you can. Would you? Do you have anything, Heidi? Uh, no, I hmm. don't. Well, we can click on me then because I am making a little fur. For her dream. We're almost at an hour too, so it's not Okay. Perfect. This one that I have used to, um, that I went around my image with at the top, and I cut out the little flowers, and now I'm cutting out the circles, and I'm making a bit of a wonky flower, but that's okay. Wonky's good. And now I'm going oh. to use one of the little tiny um, flowers that are in the trim, and I'm going to put that on top with a little dollop of glue. And hopefully I don't burn my fingers, because that could be at any moment. And I'm going to do that, and it's going to stick to me because there's glue strings, and it's crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> and then what I will do is cut a tiny little, well, maybe I'll use the bigger one, why not? I'm going to cut one of the flat back pearls. I try to stay organized, I really do. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> deb, 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 deb. So I cut that off. The, the mesh there, and I'm just going to glue that on the top. Amy, I didn't hear you. What? I think we're enabling Marty. She said she can see her budget exploding right now. 
Yeah. yeah. This is actually a budget uh, saver doing it this way. It's actually a budget saver. Well, budget yeah, saver, yes, exactly. but, you know, she's got so many nice things that, you know, you want to buy them all because, hey, she does. If you buy them all, you've got a bajillion. So you can see here. What is the <laughs> Minus the glue strings, of course. But you can see I went around the doilies and used a little flower from that trim all the way around. And I put one of the tiny flat backs from this mesh on it and went all the way around. And now I've got this little flower, which where should I put it? Maybe I'll just put it right here. Super cute. So there you go. You know, you've I've used cut up trims on pretty much everything <laughs> um, around the edge here. This dangle, the flower, these little flowers, the the trim on the bottom, the dangle trim on the bottom, and I made a flower with with those trims. So, you know, with the only thing extra was the image and um, two doilies. That's Can it, and my rolled flowers. But doesn't Julie have a lot of purple in her store? Purple stuff. She has purple. She has pink. She does have purple. many colors. Wow. Happy. She's got purple. You know how I didn't have a lot of purple in my store. Ever. She's got purple. She's got purple. lilac, lavender. Every color under the rainbow you can think Hi, of. Siobhan. Do we know how long the code is good for, Kim? The code uh, is good until the 10th. Oh. The 10th. Oh, the 10th. Yeah. And it's definitely a bargain at 25% off. So. Yeah, absolutely. Use that. Without the code. Yeah. 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 So there's my little wall hanging pretty much done, I would say. I think the only thing I would add would be maybe some seam binding or something, but I might even look through my laces again. I mean, I could actually use even these because it's around the picture anyway, and I could just make some tails with that. Uh huh. Or so, yeah. So that's that. <laughs> and uh, Heidi, you got anything at the moment, my friend? Happy uh, to leave your hashtags. No, I'm just starting my next. My next. Uh, doily for my book. That's it. And I, I did use some tiny little trim from Jewel Store. I love this little trim. It's so pretty. Yeah, that is a really good edge trim for sure. Yeah, I love that one too. Yeah. I think we're good now. Yeah, yeah, I think we are. Does anybody have any questions? Just well, good on me. Yeah. Bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just cut up your laces and use them for all they're worth. Chop them up, man. Chop them up. And the, it, the laces don't cry or scream when you cut them, I promise. But, I don't know about they that. They don't. Anyway. You know, I was looking at this one, too. It's not cu cutting laces because I have a problem cutting into the laces. So I, I don't anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. <laughs> I was looking at this lace, which I don't have the item number for. I'm sorry. I can't even really tell which is the front and which is the back. Um, but I was thinking, you know, these half circles here, right here, you know, you could make a flower out of those and then you'd have this tiny trim at the top. Maybe you could make a dangle out of that. Let me try that quickly. <laughs> you can That's do it. Right. Thanks, Abby. Let's give that a try and see. I think we'll cut it like this. I have a hard time layering because I don't want to cover up something so pretty. Yeah. It's, I know. That's my hardest thing to layer in. It's hard sometimes. Let me just do this quickly, as quickly as I can go with my big fat fingers. Ah, Abby. Abby says she thinks I should go live when I do finally cut into my lace, so they can all witness the event. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and That's now I'm going to cut in between these. I'm hoping you guys can see. Oh, Kim, yeah, I didn't even see that. That's awesome. And then you've got a little dangle trim right there. Look at how adorable that is. Gosh, that's super cute. Um, our next class is next Saturday, right? Yes, our next class it on the craft room is next Saturday at... 11 a.m. Eastern, and we will be doing Earth Day projects, which means some recycling. Yes. 
Absolutely. So I'm excited about that because I have two ideas and I can't pick which one I want to do. Hi, Anastasia. Yeah. So that's what we're up to next week. On our other channel, the in the craft room. Yep. Hello, Anastasia. Hello. Yes, the, you can cut your laces, Amy. It, it'll be good. And you know what? When you use your laces in a different way like this, if you're trying to like promote your channel or whatever, this makes your work stand out because you've used it in a different way. So are you trying to say my work doesn't stand out now? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, okay, so anybody have <laughs> any questions? Well, you've always got to tease her. <laughs> I love her. I love her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, guys. <laughs> goodbye from me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you for coming. And Bye. my first live class on my channel. I will do it again now because it wasn't too bad. Right? It's so okay. I love it's the live class. class. Yay. Yeah. This is fun. Right, Abby? I know. <laughs> yes, it is fun. I love live classes. I do too. Probably because I'm just, you know, a goofball, but yeah, I really love it. You're the best. Yes, please use the coupon code. Go and visit Julie, and uh, I guarantee you'll be happy with the service because she's a fast shipper. Yeah. Yes. And even to Canada, you know, she ships from California to me, and I usually have it within a week. Yeah. Which is pretty she good. Did. Yeah, she ships faster to Kim than I can. Yeah. I don't understand it because I'm in Georgia. She has okay. magic shipping powers, I think. Right? <laughs> well, with two, within what, two days, maybe? Within yeah. two days, maybe. She's got an order out and shipped, so. Oh, Marty. Yes, <laughs> yes. So you're going to go live now, Amy, and cut your laces? We, need, we all want to see it. That's not going to happen right now. <laughs> right now sometime in the future uh, yeah and i will do more live classes on my channel because this was fun so now i've gotten the first one out of the way so i can drag my friends back over here maybe you don't have to drag i'll come you can just go live like surprise like i do <laughs> surprise i'm going live yeah so can thank you everyone for coming and uh i hope that you'll you know do some of this with your laces because it's fun to yeah. to play around with lace who doesn't like petting their laces we all <laughs> right? like it love we love it oh, i have a problem with that word petting? i know yeah. it's kind of weird and creepy yes but i do enjoy playing with my laces i don't know how else to say that and check out the mesh the pearl mesh while you're over there because this is a bargoon i'm about to get some of that though yeah this is good stuff Bye, Abby. Yeah. Thank you all for coming, everyone. And uh, we will see you soon. And next Saturday, tune in to In the Craft Room for our Earth Day projects. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody.